Hi, this is Tammy. I do math for coffee, and I'm going to show you how to do similar triangle problems. Today I have four here, but you have to know how to do proportions. If you don't know how to do proportions, look up in the corner for the link back to that video. All right, here we go. First off, you got to know how to use these similarity statements. A similarity statement is this right here, and WV goes with side NM in that order. So WV is this side, which is the unknown side that we're supposed to find, which is cool. And then NM is this one. So I'm going to go set up a ratio, which is just a fraction. And you can start however you want to start. But there's once you get going, you're setting yourself up for making sure things are lined up. I'm going to start with the unknown. And that's going to go over the other side. Now these two triangles are not congruent, but they are proportional. That's why we're setting up a proportion. Now we have to figure out what the other ratio is going to be. So I can look at my triangles and see what I have. I have this 77 and the 55. I'm not just going to pop them in. I want to make sure it's going to work. So I know this is the 77 is going from W to U. Here's the W, here's the U, so that has to correspond to the first and last letter for the other triangle, which is N to L. You got to check that because not this is an easy problem when they don't give you all three sides, so you don't want to just guess it. Now the other thing you got to be a little careful of in the beginning when you're learning it. Once you learn it, you'll just do this automatically, but you have to line things up this way. I just know that if I start with the X, if that's on top, that's from this triangle, that means I have to use the number 77 on top in my other ratio. It has to be lined up with the same triangle on the top and the same triangle on the bottom. If you set it up a little differently, you would have to be lined up vertically. But the way I started here, I'm going with big triangle over little triangle big triangle over little triangle. So then the 55 would be here. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. Now we are going to cross multiply to solve. I know that this x times the 55, 55x is going to equal what I get when I do the other cross multiplication, which is 70 times 77. I'm going to need a calculator for that one. So 70 times 77. This isn't live, but I am just straight up recording it, and I'm not going to do a lot of editing, so it's going to feel live. All right, let's grab a calculator and figure out what that number is. 70 times 77. 5390. So on this side, it's 5... 390. On this side, it's 55x. Again, we're trying to solve for that unknown. So let's divide both sides by 55. That'll cancel over here. And we're going to need that calculator again. Number should still be in there. 5390 divided by 55. 98. And we're done. A different kind of diagram, but you're going to see these a lot, so I wanted to include it. Let's do the same thing. Look at our letters. I know that LM is going to go with LQ. So L to M is going to correspond to L to Q. And you may not have guessed that right away by looking at the triangles, so that's why you have to look at the letters. So I know that the thing I want to solve for is where the question mark is, which is here. So I'm going to set up my first ratio, X over 72. Now we need to get the second one. I know it's going to be the 60 and the 96, so let's look at this. The 96 is LN, which is the first one and the last one. Again, just like, so we want to hook that up with L, 
and an R, so they do go together. Excellent. All right, so since I started with X on the top, which is on this triangle, I need to get lined up this way. That was beautiful. <laughs> okay, so 60 on the top over here and 96 on the bottom there. Again, line your, make sure you're lined up. You have to have the same triangles on the top. And let's cross multiply. You take this, the 96x, multiply those together, and you're going to set that equal to 72 times 60. Usually I edit my videos so you can't even tell that I breathe, but I don't have time to do that this week. So yeah, here I am breathing. All right, 96x equals 72 times 60. Four three two zero. And then to solve for x, we're just going to divide that same number by 96. Goes faster when you learn the steps. And we get 45. And we are done with that problem. OK, awesome. Let's do another one. But we're going to make it a little bit more harder. We need to try to get some algebra in here. There it is. And we do it all the same way. You have to figure out what sides are corresponding to which other sides. So I look at my first triangle, KL. That's this top triangle. KL is this piece right here, which is the 35 degree, or the 35 length, the 39 degrees. That 39 degree angle is there just to tell you that these two go together. And they are similar triangles. I just didn't put the directions in that say, oh, by the way, all of, just, all of them are similar. So on the other side, we're talking about the TU, which is this piece right here. So everything's lined up. They're in the same orientation, which is always really nice. So let's set up our ratios for this one. We have 35 over. Five. I can draw a straight line. And that is going to be equal to, well, T2V is this 2X plus 3, and then I have the 63. So those two, I can tell, are going to go together. This thing is sitting in the, so these are lined up in the same orientation. So I'm just going to figure out which goes with the 35. The 35 on the top of this other ratio has to have the same number from that triangle. It's not the same number. It's just this on the same triangle. And then the 2x minus 3 is on the bottom. Let's cross multiply without drawing the lines. I'm going to take 35 times 2x minus 3. And set that equal to 5 times 63. Okay, from here we do need to do some distributive property. So we're going to get 35 times 2 is 70. So this is going to be 70x minus, uh, what would that be? 105 equals, I'm going to pull the calculator up and double check that, and then do the last one. So 35 times 3, yep, and clear that, and then 5 times 63, 315. All right, now to solve this, little equation from an algebra class. Remember, you have to add 105 to both sides.
and we're going to get 70x equals, um, okay, 10, carry the 1, 2, 425, no, 420, 420. Then we're going, and all my high schooler kids would be snickering right then. If you don't know why, I'm not going to tell you. And then we're going to divide both sides by 70, and we're going to get x equals 6, because 7 goes into 42 6 times. So x equals 6. And that is our answer. And we're going to start with how we started before. Just figure out how this thing is orientated to the other triangle. There's two triangles that are sitting together and they come together at this point. One's upside down, one's right side up, however you want to think about it. Uh, UV, which is this side down here that is 65 long, that is corresponding to UB this side, which is 9x plus 3. So we can set up our proportion that way. I'm going to put the 9x plus 3 on top. You don't have to do it the way I'm doing it. There's no reason I couldn't have put the 65 on top. But I'm just going how I'm reading it. And that equals, it'll be 33 over 55, I'm pretty sure. But I'm going to show you how to do it in case you have a problem where they give you all the other sides. Match up your letters. This is U to C. So that is on this triangle, the last one. They both share U, so I'll keep that there. So this is going to be U to W, which is the 55. Love it when a plan comes together. All right, so 33 over 55. Now the math is the same, we're just going to cross multiply and we're going to end up with some distributive property right here. So when I do the cross multiplication, it's going to be 55 times the 9x plus 3, and that equals 65 times 33. I could divide both sides by 11 right now and make that 55 turn into a 5 and make this turn into a 3. Watch this. Just little tricks I taught myself because, you know, I am older than calculators. All right, 55 divided by 11 is 5. And you're still being multiplied times 9x plus 3. And we did the same thing on both sides, so that's legal. It's just not a move you would expect. I still have the 65. But 33 divided by 11 is now 3. You don't divide both things by 11. You divide this product, but since it's not multiplied out yet, I can just divide the 33. This is totally legal, what I just did. Makes the problem a little easier to work with. When we get in to do our distributive property, on the first part and the back part, we're just going to multiply. So we have 9 times 5, that's 45 x plus 15, 65 times 3, well 65 times 2 is 130, plus another 65 would be 195. So let's subtract 15 from both sides. I'm going to do that in my head because I'm running out of screen here. So 45x equals 180. And all I got to do now is take that 180 and divide by 45, which I'm not going to do in my head. That's division in my head has never been a good thing. 180 divided by 45, and I get 4. For the problems I picked today, you got all nice answers, but you might get decimals sometimes. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.